So today I was on my lunch break and I was on YouTube checking the latest videos out and I noticed that CC Shoreline 1 had a new video so I was listening to it and she was talking about how people <clears throat> Even as a skinny person, people like make comments that make her really uncomfortable. It's like she says that, you know, just because people, she's skinny, people like put her down for what she eats, but she doesn't, you know, look at a person that's really overweight and say, why are you eating that donut type conversation, you know? And so I realized, oh my gosh, I am so guilty of that. There's a girl in our technology department. She's six foot tall and she's super skinny, always has been since I've known her. And, um, I don't know how many times I have walked past her and said, eat food. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, guilty as charged. Totally guilty of doing that. And until somebody tells you, like Dr. Phil says, train people how you want to be treated. Until somebody tells you that that is hurtful or whatever, you really don't know. I mean, I don't know. It is socially acceptable to tease thin people. It is. It is. You know, I was talking to Janelle about it and she was saying, yeah, you know, it's like everybody does it, right? <laughs> Unless you know that could hurt somebody's feelings. It's not really a joke, you know? And so now that, you know, my weight is down and I'm getting my feelings hurt and I'm feeling like, you know, threatened a little bit by that stuff. Um, I understand, but here's the crazy part. So I'm listening to her and she's talking about people and, and I'm relating and bam, I get off YouTube, make my comment, get off YouTube and I'm sitting there and this guy that used to be a Portland trailblazer, big, tall, buff, thin man, um, he goes, hey skinny, uh, what are you, size zero now? What are you eating? Oh, all you're having is green beans today? Look at her, all she eats is green beans. Look at her, she's so skinny, blah, 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 blah. All this stuff, and I was like, oh my gosh. In my mind, I was laughing my head off because I had just listened to her talk about that, and we're all just kind of relating to uh, how, now that we're getting thinner, that people are, you know, practically making fun of you, and it can be, either hurtful or in my case it can mess with your mind more for me because I don't I don't care you can call me skinny all day long I will love that up for me that's okay uh, for somebody who's been skinny their whole life maybe that's not okay but for me after being heavy for so long that is okay you can call me skinny all you want but don't tell me you're too skinny don't tell me you look anorexic don't tell me you need to eat food maybe because that's the part where it is like messing with my head so um, but you can't, you can't be Dr. Phil, train people how you want to be treated with everyone. You can't stop and say, do not say that to me, <laughs> you know? So realistically, it's like, I feel like we have to put on this armor and we have to have our sword out and we have to be ready and our shield and we have to be ready to have our guard up and know, don't receive that don't take that in that doesn't mean anything to you you know what re you really look like you know uh, you know how much fat is still on your arms and your love handles and blah 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 so don't listen to them and size 8 hardly looks like a size 0 so yes I cannot remember who mentioned it Missy or somebody mentioned that it's more like people are looking at what you used to look like compared to what you do. So you're not skinny, you're skinnier than you were. So skinnier than you were, that's okay. We could do a wrap for that. So anyway, um, it's just ironic. Life is so funny how, you know, you just be on this subject and then people can be just bombarding you. And to me, in a way, it's kind of like a test. Okay, all right, you didn't pass that test. You screwed up, gained all this weight. Okay, now are you going to pass the next test? Because here it comes. Here comes that arrow, that flaming arrow into you. Now what are you going to do with that? Well, inside I need to, I guess my shield and my sword needs to be, don't receive that. Don't receive that. Just smile and say thank you or whatever. <laughs> but I feel like I have to be strategic. You have to be strategic. You know, if something, if 
your arm causes you to sin, cut it off. You know, I mean, if there is alcohol causes you to sin, don't have it in your house, right? And so if people's comments cause you to sin, then, or you know what I'm saying, I'm just using analogies, but if, if it causes you to stumble, then you have to be prepared and how you're gonna handle that moment when it happens, because it's gonna keep happening. It's gonna keep happening as long as we are cured. You know, isn't this the obesity cure? It's supposed to be the obesity cure. That's what I've heard. That's what I believe. That's what I'm receiving. So if this is the obesity cure, we are in the world's eyes and statistically we are very thin. Even though size eight is hardly skinny, it's thinner than the average person. So yeah. Wow, I just got a little passionate there, didn't I? <laughs> it is passionate, it's very passionate. And uh, it's very eye-opening to uh, just have these situations come up and realize, you know, we are all in this together. And I felt like today when I was listening to Miss Shoreline, um, how it does feel like a support group. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I've been to a lot of support groups and I've been to support groups for years. and. Um, yeah, I have some weak areas I've had to work on. So I know what being in support groups is like, and I know how powerful it is. And let me tell you what, it was so powerful. It is so powerful daily to listen to you guys and go, oh my gosh, they're going through the same thing I am. I'm not the only one. That's the power of a support group. So, oh, you guys, we need each other. I'm serious. It's a tough world out there, and we're, we're in the battle of our life. We're in the battle of our life for our health. So, <laughs> that's funny. So, I don't know. I gotta tell you what I just did. So, I'm at my house. I'm in my yard. Look, okay, so I just pull up here, and I strategically, I was gonna park back there, and I strategically parked where you could see my pretty flowers in the background. Is that phony? Is that a hypocrite? I don't know, but it was kind of weird. I hate being a hypocrite and I hate like doing things for attention or doing things for, oh, don't I look cool or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And so I'm trying to get over all that crap, all that garbage, all that dumb stuff that is not healthy. So anyway, after I did that, I just laughed because that's dumb. <laughs> Later, bye.